full moon March 20th, 2019, final supermoon, and spring equinox. March has roared in like a lion, and if we're really lucky, it will roll out like a lamb. March is often known for the winds of change that it brings our way. Make sure you are open to changes around you and changing paths and energy this month. Be ready for the full moon on March 20th in the sign of Libra. It's also a month that is going to bring you energy of new beginnings. This is the final supermoon of the trio of supermoons that kicked off 2019. It's going to have some strong energy that should definitely have an impact on your path. According to the Farmer's Almanac, this full moon reaches its peak on the same day as the spring equinox, equinox, which also occurs on March 20th. The last time these two events coincided this closely was back in the year 2000, and the last time they occurred on the same date was back in 1981. To get the most out of this special full moon, be sure and get my full moon reading. It's much different than any other reading you've ever experienced. The full moon in March has many different names due to its signifying changing from winter to spring. It's time to set yourself free from the restraints of winter and swim to the moon. The full moon is an ideal time for ceremonies and rituals to promote friendship and working with others. You can use healing rituals if you've had problems with family and friends. Visualize your life and relationships in balance. This full moon will rise in Libra, the sign of relationships. Full moons have a tendency to make us all feel a little more emotional and moody than usual. You may feel more focused on all the relationships that you are part of, whether they're romantic, platonic, or about family. We may feel a stronger connection to anyone who supports us and makes us feel good, and anyone who doesn't may lead us to feel out of balance. We're going to feel particularly focused on how we're connecting with other people, which l should lead to some interesting situations. The Native American full, name, full moon names for March are largely based on these being considered the last full moons of winter. The crow caws its farewell to the season. The more northern tribes knew this moon as the full crow moon, when the cawing of crows signaled the end of winter. In Native American medicine, the crow represents justice, shape-shifting, change, creativity, spiritual strength, energy, community sharing, and balance. Full moon, full worm moon, <laughs> that's a hard one for me to say, is the Algonquin name for the full moon. As the temperature begins to warm and the ground begins to thaw, earthworms cast appear, heralding the return of the robins. The full sap moon marking this time of tapping maple trees is another variation. This is also known as the sugar moon. Native Americans were thoughtful when dubbing each moon out of the year with a unique, with a unique name. That's why it was also called the sugar moon. It's always the last full moon before the beginning of spring. And again, it's named because this is the time of year when the sap starts to leak from maple trees and it's symbolic of a lot of good to come. So remember, it's a lot of good coming your way. In the grand flow of life, these inward moving energies are conductive for fine tuning and helping to bring greater clarity, awareness, and focus. March is the month to bring love and light into your life. Focus every day silently for at least five minutes on the word love and think about its true meaning. Spend a few minutes just feeling the energy of the full moon. If you're following a spiritual path, you're going to feel a significant pull to do something different on this full moon. As Mercury is still in retrograde until 
March 28th, you may still be experiencing its effect. Spring is the best time to clean out your life. Start with cleansing your spirit. Clean out closets and drawers. Clean off clutter around your sleeping area. Clean out old papers and receipts. You can take your time and do this cleaning over the next few weeks. The wheel of the year. This occurs on the spring equinox when day and night are equal. It's a time of balance for unnecessary things. Thoughts and habits are thrown away to make room for the new. The feel-good factor about this day, however, is that the first official astrological day of spring hints that high temperatures are not far off. With spring, everyone begins to enjoy the bounties of the earth once more as plants and animals show new life again. The land turns green, wildlife flourishes, and people are filled with anticipation for the coming of summer, the time of harvest. It's important to remember that the dawning of spring has been observed for a long time in many cultures. Traditions vary widely from country to the next. March 20th also welcomes Astara, which is celebrated in spring season as a way to honor the richness and wealth that Mother Nature has brought to humans and creatures. Spring is considered the period of growth, happiness, and love. In this time of year, everything is woken up from winter and they are full of vitality. Springtime is a wonderful season to celebrate with merriment and shared feast as families gather together, dancing and enjoying the gifts of the land just as those in ancient times found a reason to give thanks for being here another day. Do something special to honor the fact that you are still here. Celebrations and rituals are important in our spiritual walk. A lovely quote from Chief Sitting Bull on spring. Behold, my friends, the spring is come. The earth has gladly received the embraces of the sun and we shall soon see the results of their love. Robin Williams on Spring Springtime is Mother Nature's way of saying, let's party. I thank you for listening to this video, and I'm glad that these messages are helpful for you. Many blessings, Cherokee Billy.